I assume everyone has heard the guy sentenced to seven and a half years incarceration. Uh, we really didn't expect anything more from a two-tier justice system here in the D.C. area. Uh, there's not going to be a one-sixer that will not be persecuted for their political ideology. No matter if you are a liberal, if you're an independent, if you're a Republican, this is not okay. The way that people protest in the future will be determined on their political ideology if it's okay to charge them or not charge them. There were many things that happened over the course of 2020 that is not exactly the scales of justice here got tipped just a little bit too far. Because this is what this is, is political persecution. We are patriots. God was a patriot that day. He'll consider, he will always be a patriot. And he's a loving husband. He's a loving father. He's a man of integrity. And he went that day because the United States is the last great stand we have. And if we allow our country to keep being driven into the ground by the corrupt, evil politicians here in this city, then one day at your kitchen table, FBI is going to come in and tell you that you stood up at the school board meeting and you are now a domestic terrorist. So wake up, America. This isn't just about Guy Wesley Ruffett. This isn't about just one six. This is about our liberties being stomped on. I do think that he had a lot of regrets about the actions that he did. The things that he did while he was there, I also feel like um, wasn't really him. He's actually a very peaceful person. He's also Edward somebody Bernays. that would like to sit down and talk about things. He's not violent. So of course him yelling at police officers and acting like that, I, I personally do not, that is not shown in my father. I'm glad that I got to hear his voice. I am. I think that under the level of anxiety that he was under, uh, I believe influenced a lot of his words. All I can say is that y'all can all go to hell and I'm going back to Texas. Amen. I think it really paints a bigger picture. Um, to mark my dad as this horrible person and then having him prosecuted like this when somebody is maybe even able to get elected again uh, doesn't seem right to me. I was there and I can truly say he's he was not speechy, speaking directly to us. He was speaking to, he was ranting off. He did not, he was not threatening to kill us. And my brother has said multiple times that he did not think that his intention was to actually go through with something like that.